Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meher Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to solve November 2023 university question paper under the subject Commodity and Derivative Market, also known as CDM. Again, a very important video for all the TY BMS M5 student. In this video, we are going to take up all the practical sum that had appeared in November 2023 question paper under the subject CDM. So let us see what was the question and what was the easiest method to solve those questions. Okay, the first question that was asked was calculate the arbitrage free pricing of a two month contract of SBI if it is currently traded at 100, sorry, 210.15 and the funds can be borrowed at 8%. Is the future price contango or backwardation? Okay, now this is the question that they have given us. So now let us figure out how we need to solve this sum. Okay, first we'll just note down the data, what, whatever data they have provided us. Okay, so I'll write, they gave us, um, you know, the spot rate of 210.15. They gave us the borrowing rate that is at 8%. So which is nothing but 0 0.08. Okay, they gave us time period, which is for two months. So that is two divided by 12, which comes to 0 0.167. Okay, and they are asking us to find uh, the arbitrage pricing. Now, whenever they ask you to find the arbitrage free pricing, remember you need to calculate the future price using cost of carry model formula. Okay, so we will write we are calculating. The future price using cost of carry model so the formula that we will be going to apply is future price is equal to spot rate into 1 plus r into t though the spot rate given is 210.15 into 1 plus 0 0.08 into 0 0.167 okay now 210.15 into 1 plus 0 0.8 into 0 0.167 on our calculator we get the value as 0 0.01336 okay so next step will be 210.15 into 1 plus so that will go 1.01336 you multiply so we get approximate value as 212.96 okay so this is this price this future price is nothing but an arbitrage price so our spot was 210 arbitrage price is now see they have only asked you to find the calculate the arbitrage free pricing they didn't tell you to find the arbitrage profit or loss so if they ask you profit or loss then it would be 212.96 minus 210.15 but in this case, they just asked us to find the arbitrage pre free price. So therefore, I'll write the arbitrage free price is equal to rupees 212.93. Okay. And then they ask us to find whether it is a contango or a backwardation. Okay, now remember the formula that you have to keep in mind is if your future rate is greater than your spot rate, then it will always be contango. Again, okay, contango basically it will indicate that the market participant expect the price to rise in the future. Okay, and if your future rate is less than the spot rate, then it will be backwardation okay so remember in this case the future is greater than the spot rate therefore it is a contango okay when the future rate is greater than the spot rate it is a contango and if it be the vice versa if it had been future less than the spot then it would become backwardation okay 
So this was the first sum which was based on calculate arbitrage free pricing and state whether the future price is contango or backwardation. Okay, so you all can go through it once. Okay, so now the next question, the question reads that what will be the price of a two months forward contract for Fox Limited if the spot price at rupees 465 per share and the rate of interest is 11 percent assuming no dividend is paid so remember now you know the previous sum and like the future and the forward okay when they give you a spot rate and then they given you the interest rate the formula remains similar only okay the formula remains same okay so now in our case first we note down the data which they have provided us that's for the second sum they given you the spot rate is going to be rupees 465 Again, interest is 11%, so that is nothing but 0.11. And the period which they have provided us is 2 months. So, N is, the time is equal to 2, so that is nothing but 2 divided by 12, which will again be 0.167. They are asking us what will be the uh, price of 2 months forward. So, we are asking us the forward rate, okay. So, in, in this case, the forward price again that also will be as F is equal to formula will be spot S into 1 plus R into T so our spot rate was 465 into 1 plus rate is 0 0.11 into the time which is 0 0.167 okay so which is equal to 465 into 1 plus now 0 0.11 into 0 0.167 will give you 0 0.01837 on the calci. We add up this. So we get 465 into 1.01837. We multiply, we get the final value as 473.54205. Okay, therefore, final answer, therefore, two month forward contract price is rupees 473.01, sorry, 473.5425. Okay. So this is how you all have to solve the sum based on forward rate. Okay, when they are giving you the spot rate and the uh, the interest rate, nothing else. Okay, so you all can go through it once and then we'll jump to the next type of sum which was asked. Okay, now the next question reads as, um, Misar is bullish on Timber Limited. She purchased a call option with strike price uh, 820 uh, paying premium of rupees 30 calculate her profit or loss in the following situation also draw a payoff diagram if price of expiry is 750 700 900 820 and 850 okay now this is a sum based on call option where there is a buy okay buying of call option and drawing the payoff table so for this you'll have to first draw a table so what i'll do is first i will create a table Okay, and X and Y axis ka graph and then we will start with the sum, okay? Okay, this is how the table should look. Okay, so you have written here call option, buyer's payoff. Because in the sum, she is purchasing a call option, so buyer, call option. Exercise price, spot price, intrinsic value, call premium and profit and loss. And we have X and Y axis ka payoff that we'll see later on. First, we'll have to solve the problem part, okay? Now, in the question is given that uh, the strike price is 820, that, that's nothing but your exercise price and spot prices are given as 750, 700, 900, 820 and 850. Okay, those are the values that they have given us. So, I'll just make a bifurcation. Okay, now 
the uh, exercise price was 820 in the question so for each option me i'm writing 820 now intrinsic value this is very important now remember intrinsic value when there is a call option and when there is a buy under call option up to the point where your exercise price is equal to spot price all the values will be zero after that there will be a positive increase now spot is less than the exercise price intrinsic will be zero again spot less than in, uh, exercise intrinsic will be zero now spot is more so then there will be a higher value so that will be positive 80 820 820 equals is zero and 850 is greater so the difference is positive 30 okay now to understand this in detail there are specially videos which have been created specifically for all the four types of call options okay buyers and seller may call and put okay so you all can go through that to you know have a better idea about how these values have come next premium now since you're purchasing your money is going to go out so premium will be negative you're paying so premium will be negative 30 in all the case So whenever you buy, the premium is always negative. Whenever you sell, the premium is always positive. Okay. Next, profit and loss. So that's the difference between intrinsic value and cost. The zero minus thirty is minus thirty. Again, zero minus thirty is minus thirty. Eighty minus thirty is positive fifty. Zero minus thirty is thirty negative thirty, and thirty minus thirty is zero. Okay. So this was our payoff table. Okay. So the entire payoff table has been created. Now the same thing we'll have to mark it. on the payoff graph or the payoff uh, you know diagram so let us start with the payoff now remember we have x axis and y axis the x axis will be all a spot rate so i'm just noting it down 750 uh sorry we all go with the lowest value the 700 is the lowest value then we have 750 then 820 850 and 900 okay now your y axis is basically your intrinsic value and your so so this was basically your spot okay these are all your spot rates and now this your x and y will basically be all the intrinsic values and profit and loss okay so we start with zero so i'm loading it with pen itself zero okay now uh, if you see intrinsic value is going up to 80 positive okay and call premium is 30 uh, i mean the profits are up to 50 so we'll take 10 10 ka gap so positive 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 and, and loss me same way we'll take negative 10 negative 20 negative 30 negative 40 bus because 30 is the max okay Now, whenever you so this is the very basic ideology how to create the payoff table. The next step is now let's start marking. So always start with intrinsic value ka marking. Okay, at seven hundred the intrinsic value was zero. Okay, so I'm just marking it. So this is basically zero. At seven fifty it is again zero. At you know 750 again zero at 820 we have again zero at 850 now we are making a profit of 30 so we will mark 30 wherever the 30 comes okay so this is basically 30 and at 900 we have intrinsic value of 80 so we will mark 80 Okay, and now we basically we can join them. We'll have to join them with the help of a ruler. Okay, so I have joined it. Okay, now this was basically our IV intrinsic value. In the same way, we will have to, and this this is again joined. Okay, these are all joined by themselves. Okay, so it was upward going. now same way we'll have to create for profit and loss so at 700 we had a loss of negative 30 okay at 750 there was again a loss of negative 30 at 820 we had a negative loss of 30 at 850 
we had no profit no loss so that was zero and 900 pay we had a profit of 50 so marking the 50 car range and now just we just join them so that will become that will come you know conclude our payoff table the payoff diagram so we join them So we just join them in that base. So this is our profit and loss, and that is our IV. So if you have marked it correctly, you know, accurately, so this would have become again a parallel. So basically, these two lines become parallel to each other. So that's not an issue with that. Okay. So this is how you all had to draw. This is payoff diagram, and that was payoff table. Okay. So this is how you all had to solve the sum based on uh, call option uh, purchase order. Okay, so the purchase call option. Okay, chalo. Uh, I hope everyone have understood it or can go through it once. Okay, chalo. I hope everyone have understood that. With that, we will be ending this video here. Thank you.